Hello, my dear students. Welcome to another online session. I'm Dr. Onkur is here to conduct your session. Today, we will discuss about the topics of sterilization and disinfection. Hopefully, you are following my tips and tricks regarding your preparation of upcoming professional examination. So, now we are going for the our today's session. First, I'm going going. Um, first, I'm telling something about the history. Early civilization practiced salting, smoking, pickling, drying, and exposure of food, clothing to sunlight to control microbial growth. The use of spices in cooking was too much taste of spoiled food. Some spices prevented spoilers. In mid 1800, uh, simil, uh, simil ways and Lister helped develop effective techniques to prevent contamination of surgical wound before then. Nosocomial infection caused breathing 10% in surgeries and up to 25% mothers developing in hospital died due to infection. So it is the one of the we can say one is a picture. It is the previous the scenario of before antibiotic or antiseptics are uh, invented. It's a, uh, so we can see a picture. We can see everything in a, at a glance. So now we are discuss about the definition of some important definition of cell, uh, some uh, term terminology of regarding these uh, topics. Number one, sterilization. Sterilization may be defined as a physical or chemical process that completely destroys or removes all microbial life, including spores. So, if if your examiner is asking you, the defined sterilization is said a physical or chemical process that completely destroys or removes all microbial life, including spores. Disinfections, it is killing or removing of harmful microorganisms. This is called disinfection. What is disinfection? It is a killing or removing of harmful microorganisms. Disinfectants. Produce product products used to kill microorganisms on inanimate object or surfaces. Disinfectants are not necessary sporadical, but may be sporadic. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, sporostatic. This so we can say that these are not uh, necessarily spor uh, sporocytal, but it may be sporostatic, inhibiting germination or outgrowth. Antiseptic, a product that destroys or destroys or inhibit the growth of microorganisms in or on living tissue. Aseptic, characteristic by the absence of pathogenic microbes. This slide is very important for your um, viva examination. When your examiner asks you the definition, you will say you uh, this definition. Okay, hopefully you will understand. Okay, antimicrobial definition, sterilization. We have already described in the this slide, but now we can discuss a little bit about the, in this slide, sterilization to completely remove all kinds of microbes, bacteria, mycobacteria, virus, and fungi, and by physical or chemical methods, effective to kill bacterial spores, sterile material or method used to remove or kill all microbes. Disinfections to reduce the number of pathogenic microorganisms to the point which they no longer cause diseases. Usually, usually involves the removal of vegetative uh, or non-endospore uh, uh, non forming pathogens. <coughs> may use physical or chemical methods 
disinfectant isn't applied to inanimate objects and disappear. A substance applied to living tissue, determining removal of most micro in a limited area. Example, alcohol swab on skin. Sanitization, use of chemical agent on food handling equipment to meet public health standard and minimize change uh, chances of disease transmission example hot swap and water so we can hopefully we are understanding about the uh, this slide this is also the similar slide of before the definition slide is also definition slide but this slide i'm trying to discuss something more so that it is very helpful to your upcoming examination if your examiner is asked you then you can tell this that with example okay and there is another definition sometimes we have termed the bacteriostatic bacteriostatic means the prevents of growth of bacteria that means if your examiner ask you what is the bacteriostatic you say sir bacteriostatic may be defined as prevention prevention of growth of bacteria this is enough okay my dear students okay next is germicide and isn't that kills certain microorganisms so germicide what is germicide germicide may be defined as an agent that kills certain microorganisms that is a bactericide and isn't that kills bacteria we have first we know that what is the bacteriostatic bacteriostatic means prevent growth of bacteria or bactericide minus it kill the bacteria okay this is the main twisting that bacteriostatic act on the growth and bactericidal is is or it is as in to kill the bacteria so you have to understand most do not kill endospore and b side and isn't that inactivates virus fungicide and isn't that kill fungi the sporicide and isn't that kills bacteria and the spore of fungal spores okay hopefully you will understand this uh, this definition slide this is very important for your examination for your fiber now we will discuss a little bit about methods of control methods it is physical or chemical physical control includes heat irradiation filtration and mechanical removal chemical control involves the use of antimicrobial chemicals depends on the situation a degree of control required here we are seeing two pictures one is air filters and other another is antimicrobial chemical hopefully you understand this slide now we will discuss a little bit about the factors influence the effectiveness of sterilization and disinfection okay my dear students the nature of heat dry heat or moisture the both can be occurred okay a number of microbes the more microbes present the more time it takes to eliminate population type of microbes endospores are very difficult to test vegetative pathogens vary widely in susceptibility to different methods of microbial control environmental influences presence of organic material blood phages saliva ph etc tend to inhibit microbial antimicrobials time of exposure chemical antimicrobial and radiation treatment are 
moves more effective at longer times. In heat treatments, longer exposure compensate for lower temperature. And temperature and time, time required is inversely related to temperature of exposure. And the thermal dead point refers to the minimum time required to kill a suspension of organism at a predetermined temperature in a specified environment. So my dear students, if, <coughs> sorry my dear, if your examiner asks you what is the factor uh, influencing of, uh, of effectiveness of cellulation distribution, first you tell, tell the number of the nature of heat, the number of microbes, type of microbes, environmental influences, uh, time of exposure, and this is the temperature and time. First you will give this heading, then you will describe the remaining part. Okay, my dear? Hopefully you understand. Uh, okay, there is this picture I'm showing the rate of microbial death when bacterial population are heated or treated antimicrobial chemicals, they usually die at a constant rate. Here we can say this, there's a, there is a picture, on, one is the logarithm of the number of microbial survivor, and another is a time, and we are, show, we are seeing that there is a low population load and high population load in these graphs. So hopefully, in a, at a glance, we can understand what is going on. Okay, now we will discuss about the methods of sterilization and disinfectants. Physics number one, number A, physical methods. I first, I want to say is very important for your examination. So you have to read properly, okay, my dear students. So number A, physical methods. Number one, sunlight. Number two, drying. Number three, heat. And under the heat, there is a two heading. There is a dry heat and there is moisture. It's very important. In dry heat, number one is incineration. Number two, great heat. Number three, flaming. Number four, hot air sterilizer. And number five, microwave oven. And in case of the moist heat, number one is the pasteurization, boiling, steam under normal pressure, steam under pressure. And the heading to number two is filtration. Number three, radiation. Number four, ultrasonic and sonic vibration. <laughs> Number V, chemical methods. Number one, agents that damage the cell membranes. Number A, surface active disinfectants. Number B, phenolic compounds. Number C, alcohols. Number two, agents that damage proteins. Number A, acid and alkali. Number three, agents that modify functional groups of proteins on Nucleic acids. Number A, heavy metals, uh, the oxidizing uh, agents, uh, dyes, and alkylating agents. Okay, if you uh, hopefully you understand, this agent that modified the functional group of protein and nucleic is number A, heavy metals, oxidizing agents, dyes, and alkaline agents. So when you're Examine ask the different uh, methods ask you the what is the what are the methods of sterilization infection so first you will give the two heading one is the physical method and there is a chemical method and then you will describe the sub headings headings and sub headings okay hopefully you will understand thank you very much my dear student if you have any question or query please communicate with me from from my mail mobile over phone but don't be hesitant. Thank you. Thank you very much.